Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing an update on my plant room. I have got a lot of new plants in here, things I have gotten in the last couple of months. I should have done unboxings and shown you everything, quite didn't quite get to it, kind of in the plant zone and didn't pull out the camera, so I'm sorry about that, but I'll just show you everything that's going on in here, and I did want to share, this is a shirt from one of my friends, Cookie Merritt. I'm going to link her information down below. She's a wonderful plant friend. We've been um, sharing plants back and forth, and she sent me some shirts. She makes um, merchandising and um, shirts and things, and she does a wonderful job. Um, so I will link her information down below. Thank you so much, Cookie, and let's get to it. I'm gonna do like MTV crib style. Come into my plant room, guys. So when you first come in, of course, <laughs> Mia and Scrappy. Always in my plant room, cause I'm always in my plant room. Um, let's start from left to right. Don't look over there into my lanai area. That is a hot mess. Hot mess, hot mess, hot mess, hot mess. Hot mess. Oh, my ring is off. Um, over here, I have this beautiful macrame that my friend Shannon made for me and sent me. She is amazing um, at macrame. I want to kind of get the whole thing. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm just a baby. Um, baby starter at macrame, but she's like a sensei. She's amazing. This is my... Uh, Brazil Philodendron Brazil I believe and I love the variegation on this it's like neon green and hunter green dark green some of them are half moon beautiful I love it I do neglect it quite a bit and I actually have some it's super weird I have some sections that just have pure neon green and I wonder if it's because I have this neon pothos down here which has a lot of little let's not let's not judge on the crispiness um i'm not gonna lie these two plants here i neglect quite a bit but they still show me love don't look over there over here i have let's see quite a few things i have some things in laca some things in soil and a lot of things in don't look over there don't look over there in sphagnum moss um so first off this poll i just made i want to say two days ago and I'll probably make a, a video on that and how I did that. Um, but this is my Philodendron Splendid, which is a hybrid of um, Varicosum and Milana Chrysum, I believe. And this was a cutting that I got. This was a cutting that I got. And um, I just kind of propagated it a couple of times. I do have another one over there I'll show you. I have my Mikans. This one had virtually died on me. And I had to cut it all up, root them, and put them back in the in the pot. I previously had it set up over there. And it was voluptuous, flowing, full, and long, but um, got root rot. So, yeah. Over here I have some... This is Monstera Peru, the yellow variegation Aurea. I have two of them. I am propagating them to sell and share with some of my friends. I have been, see the yellow there. I'm gonna show you the white elbow one as well. I love them. Hey Mia. And then I have up there, I have my Hoya Hindu rope and then this is the variegated Hoya Hindu rope. I love them both. I put them in lake. I've been having some trouble with um just I don't know with the plant in general just rooting not growing so I have them in lake and now they're doing well. Over here I have a bunch of random little things. Um my Syngonium Alba which my friend Angelique gifted to me now this is a propagation from the original plant and I'll show you the original plant later that's um, in my living room um, just uh, 
and insonia that I cut up and propagated. This is um, a doobie eye. Have you ever seen a doobie eye this large? My friend Shannon gave it to me and it's vining now, but I swear I've never seen them this big, the doobie eyes. That's a monster one. Um, this is an Alta Poenza. Not doing too great. I, I'm having trouble with this one. But it's still alive, so. Um, McDowell, this was a little chunk I got. I don't know what happened to that one. This is an Anthurium, and I forget what kind it is. I do not even know where I left off because I got a phone call, and I don't know what happened. And my dog threw something on the floor. Um, let's see. I think I was over here somewhere. Okay, so I think I was on this chunk. And um, then this is some kind of a an anthurium. I forgot. I forgot to label it. Uh, bird's nest, maybe? I don't know. I have a chunk of I don't know what there. Vichy? No, that's not a Vichy. I don't know what it is, but it's not a Vichy. This is a little Hoya. I forgot what kind it is. This is a painted lady that just, I don't know. I can't get her to be happy. My friend um, Angelique gave it to me and I'm trying to get her to grow. Um, I think this is a subhastatum yep yeah, this is philodendron subhastatum and it's a baby from one of my mom mom plants it's a oh no oh okay this is a variegated zz plant my friend um shannon gave to me Super pretty. I love the variegation. That's some other varig I mean, um, propagation in there. Hold on. All right. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can get this one out, but this is my Florida ghost that my friend Shannon gave to me, and she is a beauty. And there goes Scrappy. Oh my God! I need to move that. Oh no! Stop. I had to take her out so you guys can appreciate her. Look at that beauty. That minty lusciousness. So pretty. She gave her to me probably like a two leaf cutting and it's grown so much. Now, I, um, if you guys notice, a lot of my plants, I have transitioned them to sphagnum, sphagnum moss with some perlite. And they've been doing really well. All right, um, what do I have here? Da, 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 da. Oh geez, I forgot which one this is. Um, Pearls and Jade Pothos? I don't remember. I do not remember. But she is um, recovering from some, some issues. This is my Anthurium. Crystallinum looks more like the Clarinarium, but I don't know. I have a couple of mmm, love these guys. Mmm, look at this. Some more of those moss poles I made. Milana Chrysums, love these guys. I my I aim to make like a huge leaf um, plant, so I'm hoping I can achieve that. Love those guys. All right, so this is a Clarinarium. Looks more heart shaped, but it is struggling. Um, I'm gonna cut this leaf off. Let's make sure nothing's going on with it. I think it just never really rooted really well and having an issue with it. And it was from that same plant, so you see how they're both struggling. I have a Vichii over here growing. Really pretty. I love those ridges. Looks like she got a bunch of abs, like six pack, twelve pack. 
is Merlidens. Look at that beauty. Anthurium is Merlidens. Probably totally pronouncing it wrong, but that right there. Okay. Anthurium here. I forget which. I think that's the longest storium. Storium. Have some burnt leaves over here. Probably should move them out of this area because I think they're getting too tall for their own good. This is a Campa Sorsum. Growing a bun. Got me a. Warwick. Warwickum. Quantum. Waro. I'm just going to call it a Warwick. That one. I have one that I also grew from a chunk. I got it with this one leaf and then it's grown these two. This beauty that my friend Angelique gave me. This variegated burl marks. Like this is otherworldly. Look at this variegation. So pretty. Like it almost looks like yellow. Well, it is yellow variegation on this one right there. And more white on this side. All right, I have this monster of a pink princess that I got from my friend Maria. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see the color on that. Look at this pink. What? Look at this. And I'm air layering it there. I did get a couple of cuttings from it. And am just making a couple of babies. But look at that pink. I'm trying to show you though. Like, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a beauty. And then I have this El Baby Chuckle Red. I need to water it. I cut this from this one that I bought. And that is not doing as great as the top cutting that I took. I also have this. Love this guy. Angelique gifted me this and it is I forget if it's the white knight or the white prince beautiful look at that beautiful and you know I have a couple of friends that we we trade plants back and forth and I have been able to grow my collection as well as share some plants that they don't have and that is a really fun part of um, my whole plant journey this beautiful squammy firm I believe and I know I'm botching the names I mean but you get the point and she propagated that in perlite and it is doing just amazing amazing and then this Syngonium macrophyllum. This thing feels so like suede. I've gotten a couple of cuttings off of that, shared it with a friend, um, and have some propagating in my my um propagating in my terrarium. Now this was a chunk that I bought and it grew this leaf and I dropped it on the floor and it it broke. And then I don't know why I'm getting this yellowing. I think I didn't water it and it just kinda decline from there but it's still doing okay the chunk is still um it's still hard and well look a little growth point i believe yep so it's still doing good i have this milana chrysum that is just trailing up into the sky i have it hanging in this little macrame and then i just kind of attached the attached it to this here I had it as a three little three leaf um, cutting and it has just been growing and growing and growing so I'm super proud of it I think it's like up to 12 leaves Let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I thought that was a 12 or a 12 coming up all right and then I have this Hoya Carnosa which was blooming recently I have video of the blooms I will show that to you Sorry about the noise, the fan, but it is hot in here. I got this little, um, what is this called? Oh, geez. Oh, 
Oh my god, I can't believe I just forgot the name of it. I'll put the name of it um, in later because I cannot remember for the life of me. I have some different varicosum here. I'm trying to get like all of them because they are just lovely. This is uh, Amazonia's. I have a uh, Vericosum Dark there. This is a Glorious, which is giving me some new growth. A Brandy. I have a Shangri La right there. Vericosum Esmeralda. Esmeralda. A BMF here. I have uh, a Gigas, some Gigas. And let me know, you guys, do your Gigas get these? Almost everyone's Gigas that I see have those little brown spots. And I'm tired of it. So I'm hoping the new leaves don't grow with any of that. But it might be fungal or something, but I don't know what's up with that. This is so sad. Okay. Um, this was an Ethereum. And I need to cut this. I'm giving up on this leaf. I'm going to cut it off. I'll do it later. Some baby variegated um, alocasia. This is another Gigas, and it came like this. I just cut these leaves because I was over it, and I'm about to cut that leaf too. This is a baby from that pink princess. I have a dark lord back there from my friend Angelique. A villain, villainorum, villain, villa something, villorium. Down here I have a bunch of Anthurium that I'm propagating or rehabbing, as well as down there. This beautiful lance leaf Syngronium I got from my friend Angelique. And I have all this when I drop my plants, the and I drop them a lot unfortunately. Um the sphagnum moss gets all over everything. I have a string of hearts here. I have a little, some other string of hearts over there. Let me go back to this section. All right. I have some Hoya here that I got. Most of these are from either Angelique or Shannon. This is a Pubicalyx Pink Splash. pretty love those little flex this guy's not doing good um diversifolia i have a macrophyllum alba a carnosa i don't know what this one is a birkin A ZZ, my crinkle eight is gone. I don't know what this one is. This is all oh, this. I have no idea what that is. Oh, this is cool. My friend, um, Cookie, she grew these from seeds, and I believe that they are. Wayeti, and she thought it was a cross between Wayetis and something else. But this is pretty cool that she grew them from seeds. Uh, I don't know if that's Manjula, Pearls and Jade. I always confuse them, so I don't know. And this is a brandy item. I have some cuttings of, um, oh my god, look at. I have some cuttings, cutting propagations from my um, 
Jose Bueno that I got from Maria. She's an amazing soul. Love her so much. She has a wonderful channel and I will uh, try to remember to link her information down below. But these are cuttings from that mama right there. Okay, I have some big old crystallinum. I believe this is the dark form. I have a fiddle leaf, which is doing terrible. This poor guy, we're going to not happy. This guy right here, this hasn't hardened off yet, this leaf, but this is another, I believe, dark form crystallinum. Some more crystallinums here. A little tiny thing over there that I need to pick up. All right, let me pan over here. Oh, I have some strawberry shake philodendron that I have gotten recently. And um, they're just rehabbing from shipment. So I'm hoping they, they'll do okay. All right, some more anthuriums. Yeah, I'm into the anthuriums now. Big, big time. Um, Epipernum Abo and Aurea over here. So pretty. They get uh, fenestrations and look like the Tetris Burma. They can get huge. So I'm hoping um, to take them outside once they're larger and I can get a cutting to put out there. This is Philodendron Lanocardi. I love this guy. He, she is black and beautiful with that red wine back. I don't know if you can tell because I'm like trying to go through this jungle right here to show you. But believe me, that's like a burgundy underside and the front is just black and beautiful. Okay, then I have this Jose Bueno. This is the mama plant. And I have cut her a couple of times to get cuttings from her, made babies from her. She has some yellowing of the older leaves. And that's okay. She has new growth. Little baby leaves over here. Have a Hartley philodendron there. Uh, this is a Syngonium, I think the Aurea. Got it from Angelique. It's, has, it's been slow to grow, but it's a cutie. This I bought recently. I think it's a Triparapartum, something like that. Cutting. And this is a Nangalens. Taking cuttings from that one as well. I moved it recently because it wasn't doing so good. Um, and it's doing better. It was under the lights over there and I think it was too strong and it was just not happy. Uh, this is another Splendid. Philodendron Splendid. This is a Varicosum. I think Christopher. Oh no, Tambillo pretty so pretty I'm trying to get like the whole set of them this one I think is the Christopher hold on she's so tough look at her she has so many toys and her favorite toy is that paintbrush the roller brush get him scrappy dead leaf over there all right and this is a philodendron majestic cutting that I bought recently I'm hoping it makes it um, and it's I believe it is a cross between the sodori so sodori and varicosum so I it's like transitioning I hope it'll be okay and this is a cutting from my varicosum mini I have a couple of begonia, maculata, in, and they're in, um, in Leica, because soil and me, the begonias, 
was not working out and I need to water them because they are not I have to put some because that is crispy okay. this is my philodendron ring of fire I bought a cutting of this about a year and a half ago and I've cut Taking like probably two cuttings from it. And thankfully it's still doing well. I'll show you the baby that I have of this. In a little bit. But this is a top cut from it. Okay so this is the baby. Uh, from that ring of fire. And this was the stem of the plant. You can see where I cut it right there. And look at all this growth. Um, there. And it was probably cut. I want to say about. Five months ago. If that. So don't be afraid to chop and prop your plants. Uh, you will be surprised. You'll have a lot of babies as long as you do it in the right way. All right, I have um, Stilta Pecana, a couple of other begonias there. Then I have, this is my, this was my other, my mom plant of my Splendid. Recently just put this in on that pole. That pole, I made it way too big, heavy, fat. That was the first pole I made. And yeah, don't make them that fat and big. No, not necessary. Um, ooh, my baby elbow. This one and that one are from the same plant. My husband had gotten me a cutting for uh, probably a year and a half now. Uh, our anniversary in January so yeah about a year and a half we've had them I had a struggle with that like a big struggle just getting it to root and now I have these two babies and yes that pole or no that pole fell onto this little baby leaf and broke it and I did not want to give up so I taped it yep I taped it that's what you do when you just cannot let go Right, I have a uh, Monstera Thai constellation. And that's the Monstera Albo. Monstera Thai constellation that my husband also bought me a cutting. And it was around the same time for my anniversary. He bought me a couple of um, different um, plants. Which included the Thai constellation, the Albo, the Ring of Fire. And I think I had gotten the um, Cupria. Alocasia Cupria, which did not make it. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, this was a cutting from this tie. And I don't know if it's going to make it. I'm hoping it makes it. But um, the nub where the aerial root was coming from started rotting. And I'm just praying because my husband got really upset that I cut that. And that it's not happy. This is a Gloriosum. Love me some Gloriosum. Um... Oh gosh, what's the name of this thing? Prince of Orange, I believe. Um, somebody help me, cause I know you guys know. I know you guys know all these um different pothos, and I I guess I could look it up and find out for myself. But I think I had before and kept saying that I'm going to um label them, and I never have. But what's the name of this pothos? I know it's Manjula, Jade's and Pearl, and um. I forget the other one, but I know I always mix them up between the three that I have. All right, I have some more anthurium here, some subhastatum philodendron. Some I sell some of these cuttings and propagations, so I just have these here just chilling and um, just getting ready. Here I have, oh, and I also got this album for my, that anniversary at the same time. And I got them at really good prices from somebody in the area um, for, you know, when I bought them. And this one is just going, growing like crazy. I love the variegation on it. And this is the white variegation. So 
So that's the Monstera um, Standala Yana album. Look at this. And this is from this plant. I took a cutting of it and made a new plant. And this one is just stunning, the variegation on it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Mm. This is root bound. I need to do something about it. I just haven't. That's my um, Cebu Bloom. This is my um, Tetrasperma, which doesn't look like much like a Tetrasperma there right now, but it is. Uh, Standalayana yellow variegation I bought recently. Doesn't look very yellow. Hold on. Let's see if the new growth does. Trying to get good lighting and I can't. And it's hot in here. But this is yellow variegation. So this is the Oreo. Scrappy, what you doing? She's always trying to take leaves. Alright, I just had to turn my twinkle lights on because I'm just cheesy like that. Alright. And then this is a Stilta Pecana. It is not happy. And I'm sad about that. Um, this is just your regular old golden pothos. But let me tell you something. These leaves, let me pan over here, are getting huge. Look at this leaf. Okay. That is a big leaf. Now I know in Florida these leaves can get really big if you have them outside and that I want to I want to plant uh pothos outside pothos pothos whatever you want to call it outside and see how big it can get because yeah This is my um Hoya Oh I forget it's the Carnosa it's the Queen I think it's just the Carnosa Let's see if I can find you her bloom one of her blooms Cause it's almost done but look how pretty look how pretty I love that so this is the first time I've had them bloom so I'm super stoked about that All right and this beast beast is a Thai constellation that I was gifted from a wonderful plant friend um, and, uh, we've been sending plant mail back and forth, but he has these huge Thai constellations. I mean, this is a cutting from his plant. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. It's crazy. I lost one of the leaves and I was so sad, but then I got this baby. This is the newest leaf. I was so upset because it got caught um when it was unfurling and i had to help it it was not going to come out and i felt terrible my husband was like leave it alone i'm like hun you don't understand if i do not help this thing it is not going to make it because um one of the leaf parts were stuck inside of this hole and it wasn't letting it come out of the come come out to unfurl so sometimes we need to help our plants out a lot of the times just leave it alone but you know once you get to know your plants, you'll know when you need to. This is one of my variegated alocasias. This one's a pretty one. Love the variegation on this. And this is my Burl Marks. This is a beast. I need to do something because this is super unruly. This is like just a lot going on there. A lot. And that's that I cut a bunch of it off because it was just everywhere. Um, and it's still just everywhere. But, what is this? I don't know. This is uh, another area. This is where I have my succulents and laca and a couple of other little plants. Um, I have some anthurium regals. They came in with some spotting, which I suspect is fungal. But they are rehabbing and doing well. I have some aeoniums in laca that are doing super well. Some um, Pictum tricolor, like a super deodorizer for my dog. Um, 
cuttings here another aeonium that I need to put some solution in there so my succulents in Leica yes it works my string of things collection I have um, oh it's blooming and I have these in moss this moss is super dry right now I think only one of them is in soil if that um, got silver glory this is my silver glory string of things variegated it's getting all tangled here it's growing so long variegated variegated this is the regular one but look how big I love that almost looks like a different kind I don't know if this is a different one because it doesn't look like the regular one like that and look at this just white white variegation that's crazy so pretty and it's funny because even with the variegated ones they can look quite different like between this one and this one and then I have the what is this one and then I have the um, string of spades yep then I have some Neon Pothos. Oh, this is a Magnificum, by the way. In theory, Magnificum. Um, I have some Calan Calancho here. This is um, Adansoni. And this is a cacti I got from my friend Cookie. And this is another Adansoni. That one's so not happy. And I don't know what to do. I also have this section in my lanai where I am propagating, growing um, house plants. In this area, I have um, Philodendron Brazil. Look at this yellow leaf. Oh, oh no. I need to water that clearly. Um, I have a Monstera. Looking sad as heck. Some cuttings of the Philodendron Brazil. I don't have my fountain on. Um, this is some kind of Tretiscantia. Not doing so well. A glory. Um, my Gloriosum here, and then my Monstera Peru, which I moved to this area because I think it was getting too much light in the other area or something going on with it. And then another Adansoni. All right, so this is the mother plant of the um, Syngonium I was telling you that Angelique gave me. I have taken quite a few cuttings from it, but this is the mama, and look at that irrigation. Mm. Love this plant. Love it. Disregard all the soil. Ain't nobody judging. Ain't no, there's a, no judgy. A regular Hindu rope. Silver sword. I forgot what the name of that one is. Maybe a starfish. Um, yeah. Pretty much it. By the way, I made that owl like for me. I did that. I did that.
So comment down below. What was your favorite plant? Was there anything that you had questions on? Were you surprised that I had succulents in Laca? That they actually are thriving in Laca? I do have some videos um, on that. So just let me know. I love to hear your comments, your feedback, and to hear from you guys in general. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Until next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place one succulent, plant, and cacti at a time. Bye.